Is this working? Yeah, I can see the bar get bigger. All right, so I've been trying out the 3D coats. And we're not gonna lie, this is not the first time I've opened it. I have uh, I've watched a lot of videos trying to just learn the basics and I did set up some hotkeys. I kind of struggled to get into it even though I wanted to because it was just different. <laughs> but uh, what actually helped was changing the navigation to Blender navigation of all things because it seems more suitable to uh, to a stylus and uh, if you're gonna sculpt or you're gonna paint in 3D code then you're probably gonna be using a stylus and Blender navigation seems pretty good for that. But it's nice that you actually have the option to set up your navigation uh, with a lot of depth, I guess. You can change pretty much any setting so that made things easier. Some software like Maya or ZBrush make it a little bit more difficult to change your navigation but 3D code did not actually comes with some presets but no blender presets that I could see but uh, I found one I tweaked it a little bit and now all of a sudden it's way more comfortable and another thing to get you started is actually maybe if you're doing sculpting is to uh, not rely on the voxel brushes or the clay engine as much which I think are just like newer voxel brushes which seems counterintuitive why wouldn't you want to use the new thing Wow, that was uh, as a tongue twister. Why wouldn't you want to use the new thing? There you go. <clears throat> but uh, I actually tested this out a little bit. I, I have a feeling I'm just doing things wrong, but it seems like you want to rely on the surface brushes and then just press enter every now and then compared to using the voxel brushes. Because I, I just could not, I was trying to make some basic brushes with the clay engine, but I couldn't get a nice uh, scrape brush or trim. Trim Dynamic Brush, I think is what we call it in ZBrush, and Blended Scrape. And at first I thought I didn't have enough resolution, but for some reason, using a surface version of a Scrape or Flatten, and then revoxelizing after, still looked way better than using the voxel brush directly. So I'm just confused. What are they for? Obviously you can use them to add a lot of volume, just cut holes in, uh, anywhere you want. But for traditional sculpting, I don't know. I think they're just too, they're all too similar to each other. But maybe it's just me uh, trying out different software, I'm not sure. But I recommend trying out uh, surface brushes a little bit more. Of course, the fun part of 3D Co is not the, the normal sculpting, because you can do that anywhere. But the voxel uh, stuff, for example, like cutting holes with vox hide, or just drawing it anywhere in the viewport with uh, something like Carve or the spheres which, if I'm being honest, is something you can do in ZBrush and uh, Blender even, but it's just a little bit nicer in 3D code because this, uh, this is its thing with the voxels. But I've, I've actually had a pleasant experience, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, a few little details, like why do, why do they default to Maya navigation for something that I think most people use uh, with a stylus for texturing and painting? I'm not sure. But it doesn't really matter that much since you can, like I already said, tweak the navigation to your heart's content and set it up exactly how you want it. So uh, I'm not going to hold that against them. What else? What else? Oh yeah, there, there seems to be a glitch every now and then. <laughs> I think with the move brush, either with voxelize or with auto voxelize turned on or off, every now and then, it, it just seems to mess up the surface. I don't know what else to call it. Not sure about that. I'm sure uh, every software has its little quirks. I just have to figure them out. You know what I need? I need like this one good tutorial where someone just holds your hand. But the problem is not so much the tutorials. Like there are a few of them. Sure, they, I feel like they obviously don't have the same content that Blender even ZBrush does. But you can learn by watching what already is out there. I think the problem is the style of the content. If you look at the type of stuff that people use 3D code for, it doesn't seem to be the same as the type of stuff they use ZBrush for. For example, Z, uh, when it comes to sculpting, 3D code seems more useful for concepting. But in ZBrush, you will get the cleanest meshes if you know how to do it. Uh, but uh, I don't know, 3D code, while you can get somewhat clean, a somewhat clean mesh, seems that you use it more for just creating out shapes very quickly and then painting over them, either in Photoshop or somewhere else. That seems to be a, a big use case. 
either way, it's been a pleasant experience. So uh, just to summarize, try out Blender Navigation and uh, try the surface brushes a little bit more and then just press enter every now and then. That might give you a more pleasant experience for traditional sculpting at least.